Here I have the Boucher Studio Indian Goose, which has a list price of $41.94 and a street price of about $3,700. It's built with Indian rosewood back and sides, an ebony fingerboard and bridge, and its Adirondack top has received a proprietary treatment that Boucher calls Vintage Touch, which is intended to artificially age the wood. The guitar has a 25 and a half inch scale, a 1 and 11 16 inch nut, and string spacing of 2 and 3 16 inches of the saddle. The Boucher comes with golden closed back tuners, and it has a gloss body and satin neck finish. The Boucher's Adirondack top is as finely grained as many Sitka tops, which, combined with its aged looks and herringbone appointments, gives it a real vintage vibe. This guitar reminded me of Rosewood Martin Dreadnoughts from the 1950s, which often have a more even response and tonal balance than pre-war models. This made the Boucher quite versatile. It has enough bass and volume for bluegrass, but it's also sweet enough for playing jazz or other styles. Let's hear how this Boucher Studio Indian Goose sounds on some bluegrass rhythm. Now here's a little cross picking in the key of D. Now we'll try it on some single note lines. Here's an arrangement of Blackberry Blossom in a couple of different octaves. So that's the Boucher Studio Indian Goose. You can read the full review online at AcousticGuitar.com or in the September 2011 issue of Acoustic Guitar.